Link down below as always if you want to read this shit on your own. I'm going to go backwards and start off with the resolved issues and then go back and share some additional information with you. So the update is out now and on PS5 they resolved an issue where audio would uh, abruptly cut out or become muted during gameplay. This issue was especially prominent on the PS5. Xbox Access resolved an issue where some of the Xbox players could intermittently lose access to content. And after an investigation, they've identified that players who owned a lot of different Hitman content on the same console were most likely to be affected. Improved stability, we've made some back-end changes to ensure a smoother online experience and reduced the number of disconnection issues encountered by players. Or we could just, you know, add the fucking option to play this bullshit offline so we have access to our shortcuts and everything else that gets removed from us when we don't have an internet connection or we lose connection to the fucking servers. Epic Achievements. We've added support for Epic Achievements and Avatars. More details can be found on the Epic Games blog. No one gives a shit about Epic. This shit's coming out to Steam anyways. Windows PC support. In addition to Epic Game Store and Steam, Hitman 3 and Hitman Trilogy are now available on Windows PC Microsoft. Players on this platform, including PC Game Pass players, will have access to their existing Hitman 3 progression that was earned playing Hitman 3 on any Xbox console. That progression will also be synchronized between Xbox consoles and the Windows PC Microsoft version of the game. Also, any contracts created on this PC platform will be shared with Xbox console players and vice versa. If you can hear that noise, that's my bunny going crazy. These features are possible because Xbox Live is the central service that brings the two platforms together. Shoulder Swap Controller implemented a permanent fix for the Shoulder Swap option so that it's now available when playing in offline mode with a controller. Can you imagine that? You had to be online before to fucking swap shoulders. Target Down Dialogue implemented richer NPC dialogue that triggers when certain NPCs discover a target or VIP has been pacified, eliminated, or otherwise hurt. They will refer to them by name in several ways, such as when reporting their knowledge to a guard. Lens flare reduction resolved an issue, handful of issues that could result in excessively strong lens flare when certain light sources met reflective surfaces. Too easy, too silent. Tweaked the unlock conditions for the silent assassin trophy so that it unlocks more consistently according to the requirements. Challenge display fixed an issue that could cause the menu UI to incorrectly display the mission that a challenge could be completed on. Now the game will be more accurate when displaying what mission is best suited to complete a given challenge. And that to me is amazing. Glass Smash resolved an issue where several glass panes were missing sound effects when being smashed. HUD Flash. We've resolved an issue where some HUD icons and messages could repeatedly flash during gameplay depending on specific player actions. We use this to fix. Resolved an issue where the versatile assassin challenges on the author H1 Patient Zero campaign mission did not unlock, despite completing all of the requirements to ensure that the challenges are completed and tracked accurately. We recommend that players complete all objectives and end the mission. The Dubai Deadly Elevator. Resolved an issue where NPCs that were attacked and thrown down an elevator shaft in Dubai would be pacified rather than killed. Now, only death awaits. Dartmoor Outdoors Indoors. Resolved an issue where 47 could see through a specific wall from outside the mansion in Dartmoor. Chongqing, China, you're dead to me. We've made changes to several areas in the, you know, the Chongqing, so that any NPCs that find themselves outside of the playable area are classified as killed, and the bodies are hidden. China, table, no table. Tweak the properties of an invisible table in the gluttony gobble escalation. Basically, it's gone. Mendoza. No soup for you. One year. That's an inside joke. You'd have to watch the Soup Nazi. It's a Seinfeld episode. That's where that came from. We've resolved an issue where Agent 47 would be unable to move without getting spotted when starting as the Asado Chef. Mendoza Overly President Prompt. We've removed the prompt icon from near one of the President's shortcuts in Mendoza. Mendoza Rich Harvest made the Rich Harvest Trophy Achievement Slightly easier to unlock by not requiring the completion of a hidden mission story on Mendoza. This should remove confusion among players who appeared to have fully or fulfilled the requirements but did not receive the trophy achievement. Mendoza Diana Dialogue resolved an issue 
that could cause Diana's dialogue not to trigger at the start of Mendoza campaign mission. Bangkok. <laughs> that never gets old. Unusual identity. We've resolved several issues where NPC names and images did not match up with the actual NPCs in the Bangkok. Give this video a thumbs down and I'll make sure you get banged in the cock. Uh, I had to. Credit where it's due. 3.1 updated the endgame credits where needed to reflect the work done since the last patch, including new members of the team that have joined. Now we're going to go backwards really quick. We have the trilogy that's going to be available on January the 20th, which is today, on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox 3 Sex, Epic Game Store, Steam, Xbox Game Pass, PC Game Pass, and Game Pass Ultimate. And that's essentially Hitman 1, 2, and 3. Simple as that. There you go. Into a single package as a new way for players to get started in Agent 47's universe. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? I'm going to make a separate video on this. This is how to carry over your progression because it's coming to Steam uh, today. 7 p.m. CET. So I'm probably just going to narrate how to do that. I don't know if I'm going to be buying the game. I don't have that much money to be, you know, constantly buying games multiple times. But that's another big thing that's happening today that I thought was worth mentioning, as well as Hitman VR on PC. It revives... It, Revives. It arrives on PC and all supported PC platforms, including Epic Games Store, Steam, and Windows uh, PC through the Microsoft Store. And they're supporting the entire World of Assassination trilogy. If you can access Hitman 1 and 2 within 3 on your PC, you can play it all in VR. So that's, that's pretty cool. And the last thing, I believe, is the elusive target arcade mode. So the target... Arcade mode is a brand new game mode that takes the elusive target concept to the next level, mixes up the formula, introduces new challenges and unlockable rewards, all while keeping the essence of what makes elusive targets exciting and interesting to play. On January the 20th, our batch of three arcade contracts will be added to Hitman 3, one for each game in the trilogy. Across the batch of arcade contracts, we'll be able to revisit 11 different ETs across 10 locations. The three contracts will be permanently available via arcade, whether you succeed or not. And if you succeed in all missions of a given arcade contract, you'll be able to reset the contract and immediately play from the start. Failure at this point, or at any point, is met with a 12-hour lockout. There you go. That's pretty much it. Elusive Target Arcade will also bring new rewards to the table. And for the first one available is the Krugmeier 2 Dark. Complete any one of the arcade contracts in the launch batch to add it to your inventory. This thing right there. So that's pretty neat. So that's it for these batch notes. As always, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll make sure the next time you play the game, I invade your game. And this is what happens to you. I'll do it. I will eat your ass. But if you want to subscribe to the channel, maybe we can work something out. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.